What's up, everybody? It's Sean here. We'll be playing some FTL. Now, FTL, if anyone has not heard or played FTL or know the history of it, this is a pretty old game. I think this came out um, in the early 2010s, maybe even before that. It's um, very old. Uh, but this is one of the first really successful indie games that kind of came out and was really popular. Um, uh, this is the company that went on to make Into the Breach. As you can see, that's another game. Um, that's kind of made by the same developers, but I have a very, very firm, fond memories of playing this game when I was in, you know, middle school and just spending hours and hours and hours doing runs on this. This is like really one of the first uh, big innovators in that roguelike uh, genre. And so I've decided now that I'm here making videos with uh, the blue screeners, with Robbie, with Brandon, that I'm going to go back and play some of my old favorite games um, that I feel like just don't get too much love anymore. And so we're going to do that with FTL. I've decided to go and delete my old profile, so I'm coming in fresh. Uh, no unlocks. We're going to start a new game um, right away, which is the Kestrel. We'll play on hard since um, why not? You know, if if you play on easy mode, that's really not the FTL experience. There's, you got to play hard and kind of suffer uh whenever you lose a crew member to a mantis or anything like that but we're going to rename our characters here um and we're going to go with the names of the people here on the channel that way i can laugh whenever robbie or brandon dies in a fire like a good friend you know show them the love and with that, we're going to kick it off. This is the Kestrel. Um, as basic as a ship goes, we have simple burst lasers that can only do three shots and then a uh, a missile can a missile turret that's going to be really be good for knocking out weapons, but not much else besides that. Um, so let's think about our priorities here. I am the captain, so we will put me up in piloting. Now we want... I think we do want dodge to start. These are these are good slots. We'll save these stations. We'll clip, get auto fire. Want to prioritize the burst laser, take away power from the med bay. I enabled colorblind mode because I actually am a little bit of a deutronome. I don't have um, the best color vision, but I, it's, this color my mode is not the best, so I can see it perfectly fine. So we'll go with that. The base colorblind. Um, I don't feel like explaining what deutronome like a deutronome is right now so i'm sure most people aren't familiar with it but just if you see me playing any games with colorblind on that's uh that's why i'm doing that anyway let's kick it off uh scanners indicate that if battles taking place nearby if there's some pirates we're gonna of course take the fight target the weapons this missile turret's gonna be a, a pain if we let it hurt us Uh, we're gonna save the uh, the missile here. We're gonna pull people off. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, damn it. It's gonna take a while for me to get back into the swings of things. I haven't played this game in uh, quite a while. Um, so apologize if my... Uh, my playing is less than optimal. We're just going to get things fixed up and we'll go on to the next planet. All right, I had to pause real quick to check the, the controls because I forgot what my pause button was and I foresee that being pretty handy. We'll just keep running. Um, being held up by a rebel checkpoint. We're of course going to fight. They have a drone and a laser. So we want to target the drone because the laser can't penetrate us. And then maybe hold on to a missile in case they try to run and warn the fleet. So anyway, if you by some chance are unfamiliar with what FTL is, this is a, a roguelike game that has a story where you are in space, in a spaceship, of course, and you have the secret to beating um 
the Federation. You're you're helping the rebels. You're basically Star Wars, and it's your um, the, the Federation is the Empire, and they're going to conquer the galaxy. And so you have the secret key to defeat them, and you need to take those plans um, to the rebels and defeat them. And so the whole premise is that we are going to be running away from the rebels or the Federation. And they're going to chase us across the galaxy. And I'm really getting my ass kicked right now. Um, okay. Let's get things fixed up. You, you forget when you have put hours and hours into this game how bad the normal cruiser starts are. It's really a struggle. Great, that missed. Put some shots in the lasers. And, oh my god, okay. Well, the good news is we're going to get some skills, some skill ups, even though this is pretty rough for our, our uh, second fight. <laughs> I really want to conserve the, um, the missile uh, ammo as much as possible since it really comes in clutch whenever you truly need it and I don't think we need it too badly for that fight. But I say that and we've already lost a bunch of health after two fights. We've already a third of our health down. Um, what do we want to put some points into? I like shields. But I also like having the power to run stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna save up, I think, after putting this one point in, we're gonna put some into our shields. That way we can get by without taking any damage. Just to heal everybody up. Get back to stations. And we're gonna take off. So you can see, like I mentioned, you're getting chased by the Federation, and each turn they're gonna encroach closer and closer, and we have to keep running. And hope they don't catch up, because if they catch up, we're going to be in a tough fight, and we'll probably get uh, our ass kicked. Rebel Scout. Okay, so with the uh, evasion mechanic, something that happens pretty frequently is that you'll have ships like this one that are um, planning to flee. You can see at the top they have enemy FTL charging, and what they want to do is they're going to try to run away and tell the fleet where you are, which is uh, no bueno. So what we're going to do is try to target their engines and stop them from running away. And there you have it. They're delayed. We're going to take off the, um, the cannon. Um, we will open up the oxygen vent and stop the fire from spreading throughout our systems. And I think we have ourselves <laughs> the first easy fight where we don't take any damage. Well, I guess we can't say we took any damage because we did take the uh, the hit from the missile, but hopefully we have more of those. Um, okay. We have a running trend where they keep damaging our, um, our med bay. I guess it's going to take all the blows for us this game. Um, anyway, if you see me opening up all the doors like this, this helps with our oxygen spread. You can see we have our oxygen in the top left, and opening up the doors will... Um, help that number go up quicker um, okay don't really have enough money to go to the store I do kind of want to hit up these nebulas because if you go to a nebula the uh, enemy fleets they don't chase you as much you take all the fights this guy's rocking some ion weapons we want to knock those out Missiles are really helpful in this game because they um, can penetrate through shields. Um, so we can you can see each time you hit with a burst laser, one of the uh, shots is going to be taken away by the shield. And the missile can kind of penetrate through that and kind of um, help you hit things and deal more damage. Um, you'll see later on that this burst laser won't cut. It will come against people with two, three, or even four stacks of shield. And so we're going to need to upgrade our weapon at some point. 
Um, but right now, I don't really mind that, you know, it takes a little bit to defeat these guys, because every time we shoot, we get some stats. You can see Robbie's already a, a tier one in the dodge, and I believe... Oh, that's awesome. Great. They gave us some weapons, and we're already leveling up our stats pretty fairly, which is nice. So this... I don't know if we're actually going to use that or if we want to sell it somewhere and get some money, but right now, I don't think it matters. Uh, we have our first automated event, where, or environmental event, I should say, where we have a drone ship in, orbiting the sun, and it's probably going to fight us because it has no self-preservation. So this is going to be rough. I do want to use some missiles here. Um... Because generally, the faster we kill this thing, the better. Because the solar, the sun will have a solar flare and will launch fire all over our ship, which is just really a hassle to deal with. There we go. All right, get some scrap, and let's get out of here. Hopefully, before we take too much damage. Okay, I'm gonna try to put these fires out. Okay. We're not gonna deal with that. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel station, however, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Okay, so definitely want to take the fight. There's almost no reason not to. We're gonna not repair things right now. They're a lot they're doing some missile stuff. So we're gonna to wanna to focus down the missiles. This this uh beam drone can't really hurt us at all. Um unless they have their missiles online, so I think we'll have a pretty clean fight here. In fact, we'll cut power and start doing some um, repairs, some upgrades, since we don't really need to dodge. Just a clean fight. Okay, and that's a drone dead. Investigate the station. Oh, that's awesome. I love that weapon. And we have a gun. Now the chain burst laser. This is our new number one weapon. Um, each time you fire the chain burst laser, it's cool down, gets shorter and shorter. So this is really a nice weapon that will get us pretty far. Um, so we're gonna put some points into upgrading that as soon as possible. And there's a store. We definitely want to hit that, but we want to get some scrap before. Um, yeah, we'll take some some fuel for missiles. I don't want to rely on missiles too much. That's not how I want to play um, the Kestrel. Let's see. Cloaking would be really nice. As would mind control, but we also kind of want to get some fix up, or maybe a new crew member. An NG crew would be really nice to man the shields. Um, I think for now we're gonna ditch the missiles, get some repairs, and then work on getting. Um, work on getting enough power to where we can run both of our weapons. Quarantine, don't want to deal with that. Uh, come to a beam, looks like they're being attacked by pirates. We're of course are the heroes of the story and we're gonna fight the pirates. Okay, they're gonna detonate bombs on us. Looks like they have a double laser. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crank it up towards their weapons. 
Oh, and it's a fire laser, which really sucks. Okay. bad. Let's put... Oh, that sucks. We're just kind of running out, putting out fires here. They can't hurt us, though, so we're good. So anyway, this is the first video I think I've done solo. Normally I've been playing with uh, Brandon or Robbie. Um, but, you know... They are not always available, so I feel like I need to get used to talking to myself in an empty room uh, my, all by my lonesome. Uh, definitely takes some adjusting, too. I'm not normally the most talkative of a person, uh, but hopefully it's an acquired skill that you can kind of build. So hopefully I'll get better with each, uh, each video. But please bear with me if I have a lot of quiet moments, because uh, I'm not the best at uh, vamping and doing things like that. But, you know, hopefully it'll turn out. Well, hopefully I'm not going to bore you guys to death. Hopefully someone will get some enjoyment out of it because I really do think this game deserves some more love and I'm going to do my best to give it some of that love. I'll tell you what, these guys are being very annoying with these bombs. They don't hurt our hole, but they're very annoying to kind of have to deal with. I think I'm going to put some of the burst lasers. Yeah, we need to put them out. Okay. Kind of fumbled the bag there with that very last engagement. Uh, we will take the Inky. Inkies are amazing. They repair faster. So we will always take them aboard. Um, especially with a ship like this where we're not doing too much ship-to-ship -ship combat. Love me an Inky crew member. Get the ship repaired. Gonna have to do some management here. I think we definitely want to prioritize having shields over a little bit of dodge. Since early game, shields are king, and you're more likely to run into enemies that you don't have to deal with just because you have a high shield than having anything else. Okay. With our new crew member, Markle, here, we're going to save our stations. That way I can send them back pretty fast. I think we have enough to do this little path. Do we want to buy fuel? We'll take some fuel. And we'll have just enough to skedaddle before the big bad federation chases us. Oh, uh, we're not gonna, we will never trade our crew members to some slavers. Uh, I'm gonna do something here that you might see other people do when they play this game, is they're gonna take power off the oxygen um, to kind of buy yourself some time and have a better chance to dodge since oxygen, as long as we end the fight pretty early, won't be too big of an issue. And with these flak cannons, it's kind of useful to have that little bit of dodge because they will shred your shields. All right, and now we move back to the oxygen. Now what I'm hoping for here is that they're normally um, if you damage these, these slaver ships enough, they'll offer to send you a crew, a crew member over, and that would be really ideal. We can get someone to, um, oh, I love that, Zoltan. Yes. So this, this race, um, I believe it's the Zoltan. I might have that name wrong, but what they do is whenever you put them somewhere, they power that station for free. So with him... I think I'm actually going to put him in the shield and have our Inky crew member man the uh, the sensors. That way we can see inside their ships. Uh, 
because I can target weapons and things like that and kind of see. I always like to see inside their ships. It's very um, useful. A ship with conspiracy pirate markings. Conspicuous, not conspiracy. English is hard. Pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon. Broadcast simple message claiming to have equipment for sale. Hail the ship. This seems like a terrible option. They're pirates. Um, as soon as you start to reverse the ship, the pirate reveals hidden weaponry and sets off in pursuit. You'll have to fight him to escape. We don't need to escape. We take no prisoners. Okay, double laser. Probably looks like a charge laser and bombs. We'll do the same old, same old, or we just power down the... Okay, we got some... I'm gonna send some time so we can do a big barrage here. And of course, as soon as I say that, it gets ruined. All right, send the Engie to repair. I should call him by his name, not his race, Markle. We'll call him Megan Markle. I just made a big misplay, that sucks. I took off power from the chain lasers, and since I did that, we lost the charge. But it shouldn't matter. We should have this under control. Oh, they have a rockman. He's a uh, immune to fire, which means I can't just kill them all by using my fire. I do really think this is an amazing soundtrack. Looks like I have leveled up my pirate skill, pilot skill, which is nice. That also should mean that Robbie's getting close to leveling up. Brandon's getting close to leveling up his weapons. Markle is doing his repair thing, and Weston hasn't done much. We're, we'll get Weston up there. Okay. Uh, let's take power from the oxygen. Heal up Brandon. Something I might want to invest into is a tier 2 oxygen bay, because once you get that, um, you actually have the ability to stay alive in the oxygen bay, in the uh, medical bay, um, whenever you have no oxygen in your ship, which is really nice to have. So, since we wiped our profile, I'm trying to think of where we want to go. Normally, we have the hostile sectors, which are a lot harder. Um... But the Engie control sector is pretty easy, and there's a lot of good things the Engie have. They do a lot of repair events there. And we could also look towards getting the Engie ship, which I think is a, a step up from the basic Kestrel. So I think we're going to run to the Engie and see what they have for us. Okay. I think we're going to go up top. Intruder on deck. A young mantis. So, I know this event. And, um... I think if we choose option two, the mantis almost always kills somebody on the crew. Which is a really a bad way um, to go out. So hopefully, if I choose option one, we're going to get him to side with us. And we do! We get Lexi. We love Lexi. Alright. Lexi, your new job is to man our doors. Actually, let's put the Engie on the doors, and Lexi will be in the sensors, because Lexi's good at repelling borders. Um, looks like we're running with people that have some anti-combat drones that shoot down drones, and looks like a whole laser. We'll just stick to our tried-and-true method of uh, taking out the weapons. Now, I think that whole laser, if I remember correctly is capable of going through at least one layer of shielding. It, like, has penetration. Um, and with their ion cannon, it's going to be really nice that we got that extra shielding taken care of. We might be able to take out Shirai there. All right, he's gone. Doubt we'll be able to kill anybody else without blowing up the ship, which is fine. I really... But now you can see we have the plus three pulse laser and it just kind of wrecks people. It's really slow to get started, but once you have that pulse laser going, it's so strong. Oh, 
is this our first distress beacon? I think it is. We'll go there next. Those are always good. There's nothing. Great. We'll give you some fuel. Give me some scrap. What do we want to work towards? Well, I think we want to work towards getting some of our um, dodge chances up. Having high level dodge really is a boon. Okay. Crew teleport would be nice. I don't really have anything I can do to take advantage of it. Unless I sell a burst laser, which I don't really want to Do I want to do that? Alternatively, cloning bay. I think we... I think... I think we go for it. I think we go for it. I don't want to play... I My favorite play... Like, style to play in this game is definitely doing the, the boarding. Um... And since we already have a Mantis crew, I don't see really the downside to doing it. Um, it, it does mean it's going to be a little bit tough for us to get some of our... Uh, uh, to, get, to get through these really tough enemies, but I know some tricks here. Oh. I don't even, I didn't even read the damn <laughs> options. I don't know how, but we lost Markle. Um, solves the nanite survivors is murdered again, detecting activity of your shifty angry vessel opens fire. Alright, so we have no one on sensors. Um, they're gonna take down our shields, which is not nice. Let's think about this. Yeah, that's that's really really no bueno. Um Definitely just wanna kill. All right, our priority should be taking out their system right there, the uh, the hacking system, since that really will just devastate us with their with their lance. Yep, there you go. That should be enough to deal with that. So they have a cloning bay, meaning whoever I kill is going to be respawning since they have cloning. But luckily, we should be able to deal with them pretty well here. Okay, we're going to have to beam her back. Get her up and healed. Want to keep pouring in some fire. Let's see. He's going to go to the cloning bay. Here we go. Okay. We're going to send two people over and hopefully we can take them out before they can pair stuff. Let's get it done. There we go. So the reason I want it like to go for the um, boarding style of play is that you get a lot more resources whenever you board. To surprise your Engi crew member reforms, it looks as if the virus reconstituted, repurposed, and reprogrammed the Engi host and wants to travel with you. It seems as though it learned a great deal in your time on your ship. Oh my, that's a thank you. I don't even. Sorry, Markle. You've now just gotten better, I guess. <laughs> Uh, we'll send him back to his station. Okay, that's awesome. It seems a shame to put him <laughs> on something other than uh, weapons right now. In fact, we will actually do that. We're gonna we're gonna put Markle or Virus on the weapons, and we're gonna have Brandon repel borders. 
I shouldn't say repel borders. We're going to have him be a border. At least until we get a second Mantis, then we can look into doing other stuff. But for now, I think this is our best, our best setup. Stress Beacon is nice. I'm hoping one of these can give us a quest to get the Engi ship, because that'd be really nice. Um, looks like we have Rebel Fighter. Don't see any med stuff, so we should just go right in and tear him up. I think that's gonna, we're gonna have enough. We're gonna have to have somebody deal with the uh, Oh, this should be perfect. Who is the... Oh, it's an Ingi. Let's try to get him before a bomb goes off and makes us sad. All right. So I want to get... Now that we have a boarding bay, I definitely want to get the tier 2 teleporter and tier 2 med bay as soon as I can. Because being able to rotate our guys through there as fast as possible is going to be really good for us. Alright, send it back. Looks like we didn't get too lucky here. As far as, um, getting a quest for the Engi ship, but we'll keep going with it. Mantis, and Mantis is chasing a civilian. Uh, prepare to engage. Same, same situation. We're going to go right to the auction this time. Oh, two Mantises. That's unfortunate. Might have to play some games here to keep our guys alive. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to play a little game of chase. Okay. We'll get them out, get them healed. And this is why we like to invest in shields, because we can play this keep away game and stay up top. I would love it if they would take out their their bomb. This, this bomb that goes through shields, just like the missiles. This should be enough to deal with them. If we hit the Mantis, that is. There we go. Do we want swamps? I think we do want swamps. Okay, we can have one. We want our last crew slot there to definitely be a Mantis. Because once we get a Mantis, um, we'll have the perfect boarding set up. In the meantime, we'll put our guys on sensors. And I think we're good enough to have our tier two teleporter. Uh, we don't care about that. Keep chugging along. Rebel ship. He's going to stand and fight. Let's go ahead and save our slots. I don't remember if we saved that before, but we'll play it safe. Okay. He has missiles. We don't like missiles. Um, and enough said. We're going to deal with the missiles. Okay. We're going to need to take our Ingi crew and repair wherever this missile hits, if it hits. We got a 35% chance to dodge. And we didn't. That really hurt. Let's hope that doesn't hit us again. We live here. Okay, Ooh, that was close. 
definitely feeling the effects of not having people with higher level combat. We're also getting low. So it looks like I'm going to get close to the point where I need to invest in some repairs at a shop or something like that. Repairs and dodge. Looks like we're getting a case of um, just a lot of a lot of ships that have missiles and a lot of ships that have bombs. So that way our shield upgrades aren't really giving us enough uh, output. All right, jump to the next sector, and I just spent all my. That sucks. They're offering repairs, but I have no scrap, so I just have to kind of deal with it. And we're going to go to the next sector. But I think for now we're going to call that. Um, I think we're going to pick up next time with the Zoltan Homeworlds, since there's a good chance we can unlock the Zoltan ship there. And that's a pretty cool ship to run with. It has the Zoltan shields, which are pretty unique. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.